Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Recycling in blue boxes became the symbol of a generation and how they could help reduce waste and help the environment. But for many, it became their token badge. I recycle, therefore I am looking after the environment. But recycling is still very important and could be a critical piece in how we respond to climate change. Hi, I'm Christina Seidel. I'm the Executive Director of the Recycling Council of Alberta. So our mandate is to promote and facilitate recycling and resource conservation in the province of Alberta. There are three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, but not all R's are created equal. We need to always remember that there are two R's that have a priority over recycling. The most important is reduction. And if you actually want to look at environmental benefits, including saving energy, including reducing greenhouse gas emissions, if we can actually reduce our consumption That is where we get by far the strongest benefits. Reduce and reuse have huge emission reduction benefits. But as Seidel says, so does recycling. So every time you recycle something, you're saving a substantive amount of energy. And so that only isn't just about energy. It's also then about the resulting greenhouse gas emissions. So recycling is recognized as a very effective way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as well as reduce energy consumption. One really big example is aluminum. So the best and the largest example is aluminum. So aluminum takes in the order of 95% less energy to make from recycled material than it does if you actually mined the original ore and made the material that way. Okay, what about those nasty plastics? So for every ton of plastic that you recycle, you will avoid about three tons of greenhouse gas emissions. You'd think, given the gravity of the climate change issue, we'd be designing much more aggressive recycling programs to maximize emissions reductions. But scant attention is paid to these benefits by policymakers. We are like the ignored climate heroes because recycling, as I said before, has great benefits when it comes to reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but nobody's really properly counting those. And there's no direct incentive from a greenhouse gas point of view, to make that happen. A policy that places a value on the carbon emissions, avoided and saved, could help, but so could a social revolution that demands we stop producing things we don't need. We always need to be asking the question, not only is something recyclable, but how do we actually reduce, for example, a good example is single-use plastics. Why do we need single-use plastics in most cases? So let's not worry about whether or not we can recycle that material. Let's talk about, from a policy point of view, why we're making a bunch of stuff that really we have no real need for. Recycling did start by becoming socially fashionable, just like it was fashionable for movie stars to drive Priuses once upon a time. But what's needed now is the second recycling social movement. Yes, yes, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, you're right. It drives me wild to see... For example, in advertisements where you'll see the person is carrying a disposable cup, why would they not have a reusable cup in their advertisement? Things like that that just need to become normal, and we're not quite there yet. Grab your reusable cup and tune in for part two next week. Learn more in our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.